What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Down to Be Outdoors. Another hunting, hunting trip. Uh, this weekend I got a quota hunt. So uh, we're gonna go back up in here. I got a stand hung and we're gonna see what we can do. It's pretty hot down here back in Florida. Bucks only. Gotta have a 10 inch main beam, three points are better on one side. So we're gonna get back in there and get set up move times are a little funny i looked at the major feeds so trying to get in there nice and early but uh i'm gonna film with the chest cam going in in case we see something i'll cut you guys back on when we get in the stand Whew. well folks i'm in the tree wasn't thinking this one out too smart i got the sun blaring right in my face side where there's a lot of deer to you know sign there's bedding over this way out in front of me so I didn't want to get too close to the bedding my thought process is they'll be walking these ponds and deer in Florida like to walk the edge of ponds because there's not a lot of reason like there's not a lot of bushes you know they can walk easily along these ponds and there's lots of food so Put out some dough, ding 69. So we'll see, maybe we can catch a deer cruise and looking for a late dough. It's the first week in November and our rut's basically 
this afternoon. I seen two does here yesterday here. So hopefully tonight there's some good rubs. Back behind me and across this pond. So I know there's a buck work in this area. Just whether or not we see him. set up here. But, uh, quick thing, if you like the video, your hunts, always keep a gallon Ziploc baggie to put over your camera. I always keep one in my, my pack. And I'm glad I had it today, because if not, I'd have this in my, my, my camera in the backpack. as long as possible. I'll put this on and on periodically when it starts raining. I mean, it's, it's not, so. The weather said it should only be overcast for the rest of the afternoon. It's about three o'clock. So, the rain chance drops like 15% till dark, so. Might get a couple showers, but hopefully no more torrential downpours. Got you guys back on here in a little bit. What's going on everybody? Well, it's day three of my hunt and they weren't lying when they said 100% chance of rain. Look at this weather. Blowing, raining. So, as much as I don't want to do it, I'm going to go hunt. I mean, I got a rain suit, so strap it on and you know hopefully it won't be this heavy a downpour but uh i know it's gonna rain all day so as much as i don't want to do it i don't think i'm gonna bring my camera you know i'll keep you guys updated and uh if i kill a big one i'll show you some pictures and give you the rundown you know i do this just kind of as a hobby and it, it's not worth me ruining a $900 camera, even with a bag over it. I, I don't feel comfortable having it out in that. The past couple days, little showers wasn't a big deal, but to have it out in this, this isn't worth it. So I'll give you guys an update on how today's hunt went. Kind of give you the rundown. And uh, if I shoot something, I'll show you pictures and show you, show you uh, the head so cut you guys back on when I get home what is going on everybody well I just got home finally got a little break in the rain just got done raining and uh, got it done on a really cool buck so Sorry I didn't get the footage, but the weather has been absolutely horrible. But you know what? Just because it's windy, as you guys can hear, and it's raining, doesn't mean they're not going to move. I don't know if it's because we had that tropical storm that they felt like a pressure drop or what, but the deer were definitely moving, and it was pouring rain. It's kind of a miserable hunt, but I am glad that I did it. I ended up shooting a buck that... uh kind of my dream buck I wanted 
huge six point my whole life. I don't know why. It's just been a bucket list deer of mine. And uh, I got him. Look at that six point. I mean, that thing is a little over 21 inches wide. Just an absolute tank of a six point for Florida. Good deer. So. Glad I went. There's the end result. I'll show you guys a picture of this deer. Went ahead and brought him to the processor. Uh, got him got in caved and getting him processed. But that thing is a tank. Look how wide he is. 21 inches. So. I will show you guys the picture and uh kind of give you the rundown on what happened so stay tuned all right folks well you know i'm gonna give you a little recap of the hunt you guys seen what happened friday seen those does saturday no movement at all woke up sunday to the tropical storm and, uh, you know, it was probably blowing 30, 35 all day in solid rain. In the morning time, it rained real heavy where I was at. Didn't see any deer movement. And uh, 4.30 came, and it, the rain, had, it was still raining, but it wasn't like a torrential downpour. It, you know, it was just a, a light shower. And uh, I looked up, and I caught a doe moving on out in front of me probably about 80 yards and then uh looked behind her and all i could see was rack in the palmettos so i got ready the doe stepped out she took i don't know probably went about 10 yards and that buck stepped out looking dead at me and uh, i'm shooting a 22 250 put the crosshairs right on his neck and that was the end of his story. So, heck of a buck, you know, 21 inch wide, six point. For Florida, that's that's an awesome buck. Um, not a high scoring deer by any means. He's not gonna be no record book deer. But for some reason, I don't know, all my friends know I've always wanted a giant six point. It's just, uh, I think they look so cool, you know, and I couldn't be any more happy than to finally get this deer. But uh, the only thing that could have been better is if I would have been able to get it on camera, but they, my camera would have been shot. Even with a Ziploc bag over it, I mean, I sat through a solid three hours of heavy rain. I was soaked, you know. Luckily, I brought a change of clothes <laughs> and, uh, you know, but that's what you got to do. You're not going to kill him on the couch. It was the last day of the hunt, so I made it happen. But uh, if you guys like the videos, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the thumbs up. Still got some more deer hunting to come. Going back to Georgia. Still got a buck to kill out of my lease. So I'll go do a few more sits out there this year. Um, haven't really seen too many monsters out there, but... Uh, you know, they're there. They just haven't moved. Or I've been somewhere else while they are moving. Uh, but uh, I'll definitely, you know, keep the hunting videos, try to keep them coming. You know, I'll do some bird hunting and stuff, but you know, for deer, I got plenty of deer meat now, you know, so it's gonna have to be a pretty special deer for me to shoot them. But, uh, you know, Definitely gonna get back on the fishing game. I haven't fished in a few weeks and I'm itching to get to back to doing some fishing. So look forward to those videos and uh, 